What is up guys, Runing Titan here, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be making another <laughs> reed farm. And we're going to be fixing the uh, weed farm as well. And all that stuff, so I'm just going to collect these because I want to make it in the new house as well. Make it more efficient and all that stuff. And I am actually recording in full screen right now. Um, I have never done that before. <laughs> I'm being completely honest right now. I've never recorded in full screen. Uh, so it's a new experience that I'm getting, uh, but seriously, I I thought I was gonna lag insanely if I did full screen, and I usually have. But Starboy helped me out and uh, he fixed it. Uh, There's only one simple option that I need to change, and so that's what we did. Uh, he helped me, and uh, it's all fine now. I'm recording at uh, 30 FPS now. Um, the file is recording at 30 FPS, but my game FPS right now, as you can see, is 231. So that is awesome, uh, awesome. Right, so I'm gonna uh, get back when I finish the design here. What I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, I might need to get some more uh, s sand while I'm doing this, but uh, I'm not gonna record that because I know you guys probably want, do not want to see that. Uh, so I'm gonna get this nether brick, and we are going to use the design that a lot of people use. I, I don't particularly like the sandstone in this search bag, but I might change that. Um, it, it depends, really. Uh, but yeah, what I mean is we're gonna have a nether rack there, or not not nether rack, but nether brick there. If I didn't like too much, wow. So nether brick there, nether brick there, and then we'll have a line of sandstone right here. Wow, we're just bristling. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have it like that. It kind of looks really dark, but I'm gonna change. At least I'm gonna change the nether rack here. So uh, so yeah. It's gonna be like that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, here's the finished product. Um, wow, why do I have this on V-Sync? You could tell, right off that. Uh, but yeah, here's the finished product. Um, not the best look, but it's just kinda a simple, fair thing. I might uh, make it better in the future, but I just wanna do it real quick. And this is how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm not finished this yet, but as you can see, I used the netherrack here. Uh, uh, sandstone here, and I use half slabs here because you don't have to waste all your sandstone. Uh, if you use uh, half slabs in the roof, you're kind of saving half of the sandstone you would have used if you used regular sandstone. Um, so it's pretty useful. Uh, if I did not forget something here, which I probably did. Yep. Right, I'll be right back in a second. <laughs> wow. All right, we're back. Um, sorry about that. Just forgot the sign, and that's gonna ruin the whole thing because. The water will spread five blocks this way, I hope, <laughs> and five blocks this way. Uh, if not, then I'm probably gonna add a walkway here, but uh, I don't think we need that. So what I'm gonna do now is just to hold the ground real quick, and we'll plant the... We actually might need some light. We'll just see if that actually does work or not. Eh, oh, I forgot about those things there. Uh, I'm probably gonna fix that later. Uh, but hopefully there's enough light for it to grow. Uh, hopefully it has water to it next to it. Well, I mean, it spreads or whatever you want to call it. It seems pretty fine. As you can see, the dark spots here. So that seems to be good. Now this is the thing. It would, ah, I think that should work, so let's just try. Alright, almost done. So I have already filled the buckets with water and put it in there. Um, in the uh, dispensers, so it should all work with the button there. Now, I could use pistons, but... Um, in the last episode I went for this instead, um, so that's what I'm going to be using, of course. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And I forgot those as well. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Um. Yeah, right. I need to put... Actually, I could put water underneath here just to make sure, and I could do the same here, but... Yeah, that might just be it. I'm actually going to fix that right now. On the camera, because I cannot be bothered to have that many clips. Um, not being lazy, I'm just saying. So we'll just do this. Uh, it should all work. Since there's already water there. There we go. Now where's the dirt? It's right there. There, there, there. Will the water go underneath here? I think it will do. Uh, let's just check. To make sure. Yep. 
Uh, I don't know. Does it need to be fill blocks? It might need to actually. I'll just go ahead and see some OC. So there, and then one here, there, here, and there. There. What? All right, there we go. Uh, if I have enough dirt now, we should be able to fill this up. And I don't know if I need torches. Uh, so if th if it does it again now, then that's the torches. But I don't know if it should do that, even though it doesn't have torches next to it. But because I think it's only that you know uh, wheat won't grow unless there is um, um, torches nearby. I don't know how that works, but yeah, I'm not I'm not a pro at Minecraft like some of you people are. Uh, <laughs> so that's just how it is. Yep, not pro, I've been playing for ages, so... Um, I just recently actually started doing reds and stuff, so, or these kind of stuff. Um, like I should have done from the beginning, but... Yeah, I need to get water. And professional. So, we have one there. One here, and that should be a block. There. There. Um... And that seems to be alright. Now we just need to put up dirt here. And yeah, there it is. Yes. Okay. So now if we hold this, it should not uh, turn into untilled soil. Hopefully. Alright, so I've got some bone meal right here, as you can see, and I've got some seeds. So I'm gonna plant these and hopefully they will grow. Uh, I don't know if they'll grow naturally. We'll see that uh, after a while, but for now I'm just going to use bone meal because I have a mob's uh, spawner, the skeleton spawner, so that should work. And we need more light. As I guess I can see here because because of the uh, thing it's not growing. So let's put a torch there. Will that help it? Will that fix it? <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear my brother in the background again. Yeah. As you can see, we need more torches, so what I'm gonna do... Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be in the way. Maybe two here. Will that work? I hope it will. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, plant it on the, the, this layer here, and then I'll fix the torches after, because you can see it's kind of messing up, but... Uh, yeah, I think that works. I think the torches here are enough light now. If you guys know, let me know what light level you need to make uh, wheat being able to grow or whatever. Or in order for wheat to grow, basically. So let's just do this real quick. Click, 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 click. Okay. So I don't know if I calculated how much this will give me, but I'm hoping for that this layer will give me about half a stack or something. Uh, wheat, uh, I mean. So let's push this lever again. Whoa, embarrassing. Let's see if it actually reaches. Alright, so it goes here, and it should be powering this, which should be powering this. Hmm. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I figured out the problem. The problem is that uh, you need to have repeaters connecting to the uh, to the dispensers like directly uh, or redstone directly. So, and since you can't do it with redstone directly, then I, I needed to put some of these uh, repeaters right there. So, uh, that actually cost me more redstone. So, I thought this would be more efficient and less redstone required or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, wow, I want to punch my bro right now. Uh, but if I pull this lever now, it should be going down. Or again, I mean. So here we go. It will gather up here and it will just flow here, as you can see. Um, so if I pull this lever to twice when it goes all down, it will work. So now the water goes away, the pistons uh, or dispenser picking up, 
and now it should be all gathering in the middle here to this half block I've placed. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up. So if I throw away the wheat I already have, let's see how much I'll get. If I had enough space. Uh, Alright, I need to I actually can't have this here then. There we go. So I got 54. Which is the exact amount I got from that one, so that's that's 54. So let's see how much uh, 54 gives us. Um, it's Okay, 16, 16, 16, that's 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So that's 18 bread each time on one layer. So 18 bread and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7 times 9, with, with, uh, 7 times 9 which is 63. Uh, and 63 split by 3 is 21 bread. Yeah. So that's 21 bread plus 18 bread, which is uh, 21 plus 18, that's 39, if I'm not totally mistaken. So 39 bread all together with, with all of this wheat grown when they when it grows, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we'll be doing some changes here, and I'll fix this off camera, I hope. And I'll, add, I'll be adding pumpkins here or glowstone if I find some in the nether. And I'd probably add some few de details into it. And I will speak to you guys in the next video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll speak to you in my next video. Video. <laughs> Bye.